This is insane. This is absolutely insane. I want you guys to take a look at this. Holy moly. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I shoot a commercial video with a tree cutting company. Yes, this is gonna be all outdoors. I'm gonna tell you how I set up my ISO, my aperture, my shutter speed. I'm gonna tell you the tricks and tips of what I get as far as to get the most detailed shots when it comes down to the BTS. And I'm also gonna show you um, some behind the scenes when it comes down to the different angles that I use. So stay tuned and make sure you check this video out in its entirety. And also, I'll show you the finished product when it's all said and done. Check it out. Let me get a test test one, two, three. Test test one, two, three. I'll be moving. It's okay. Just remember, this is your, this is your spot right here. Okay. Countdown three, two. Hey, good morning. This is Chris. I'm with Southeast Tree. I'm the GM for the company. We have great insurance. Yeah, no, it's all yeah. so good. I know it's on the spot. It's on yeah, the spot. Yeah, like I don't, I've never done anything. No, no, so. no. It's all good. Uh, um, let me, let me cut. And, um, so pretty much what it is, this point is, how do you talk to me? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You talk to me like, hey, this is Chris with Southeast. Today we are cutting down a popular, it's actually a pretty dangerous job when these things fall. Just tell me what you were telling me, man. They call it a weapon. But again, I can cut it. Don't worry about it. If you mess up, trust me, I can get it out of here. Okay. So just keep rolling? It. Yeah, just keep rolling. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Good morning, this is Chris from Southeast Tree. I'm the GM for the company. Today we'll be taking out a large dead poplar down in a gully. This is uh, quite a dangerous tree. Right, I, cut, I cut it for you. Okay. All right. Now what I want to do is get some shots of the equipment because when he was talking during the introduction, he was talking about the equipment. So I want to make sure I get everything as far as the equipment. I'm showing the sign, which is the logo of bobcat which is known in this industry the type of bobcat it is is going to be an mt100 <laughs> i'm going to get the hydraulics now i'm going to leave this running so i can get in some shots i'm actually just keeping my distance being that this is a pretty dangerous spot but again i have my 24105. Stand back a little bit because that thing is gonna swing. That's a big trick. And here we go. Nice. Now I'm gonna get him as he is pulling this tree out. There we go, showing that he's pulling out this entire tree. Alright, this is gonna be a perfect shot of him getting it. So what I'm gonna do with this shot, I'm actually going to wrap around again my seat so you can see the progress of as he's pulling this out so again my movement is more in a c circle uh c formation or u formation and there we go man that's a perfect perfect pull right there let me go ahead and situate it this way let you guys see what's going on here yeah, that's cool. I like that. Shot taken on that particular. I was on my still my F 4.0, but I had to up the shutter a ton because it's pretty bright out here. Usually I have a neutral density, but we're going from shadow to bright constantly. So this makes it easier not to have that on. So I'm just manually adjusting all the things I need to adjust to make sure I get everything that I need. All right, so what now I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get a drone shot. Um, I need to take it up. He's about to cut off a really big section. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it up and get the shot of that section coming down. When shooting the tree portion, I think it's really awesome to make sure that you're getting um, a big portion of it coming down. So it gives more of a dramatic um, shot when it's time to um, do the edit. You just don't want anything it's just kind of looking um, like a shot that you can get on the ground. But of course, ooh, what did I just do? Just cracked my, uh, not my drone, but cracked a little uh, glass on there. Look at that. Man, don't know my own strength sometimes. So this is the Mavic, uh, what is this? <laughs> I had this drone for so while. It's a Mavic Air 2, I believe. Yeah, so I got it with the pack that gives you uh, three sets of um, batteries in here. So I'm using the iPhone 15 with this. I'm gonna go into normal mode. The plan of attack is to go up 
actually I could probably just go up straight across the house and straight into the trees that way, which would make a lot more sense. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy up. The number one thing I do is start recording before I go up. That's the only thing sometimes what happens is so bright that you can't really make out where you're at. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off auto. I'll go ahead and get my exposure going here. There we go. That's a big buddy. Look at that. That was big. We got it. Now what I'm pretty much gonna do is I'm gonna take a walking shot so I can get up while there's no cutting going on to make sure I could get the climber in the tree for a better angle here. I'm just gonna do a nice sweeping shot and then we'll go from there. A shot going up so I can see the hole to which it took out. I think what they're gonna do now is cut it, but I think I got everything I need on this side. I'm gonna go back to the other side to get some more shots. Okay, so what I'm getting now is really tight and close-up shots of the climber. He doesn't want to tell his story here. The story right now is that he's the one really taking the biggest risk here. Just something really to consider. Um, the dangers in most people's jobs versus you may hate what you do, but you know some people take a big risk in what they do. So one funny thing to mention is that there's a cop ahead at the base of this tree. He stuck his head out. That's something I don't want to catch. I'm gonna go a little bit further down. So one thing I like to do is play with my foreground. So there's a tree right in front of me. I'm gonna just angle it, even though it's gonna be overexposed, but I'm still gonna angle it to where I come out of this tree and now it focuses directly on him. Nice. So it's really just telling the story of him just being in the woods, up in the tree on his own. So he's doing that angle right now because they want that tree to come back this way based off the pulleys that they have going on. It's pretty amazing the jobs that they do and how they do it and how they're able to do all the stuff. I am. This is insane. The amount of things that get killed. I mean, wildlife is real. This is absolutely insane. I want you guys to take a look at this. Holy moly. That is the remnants of a squirrel. Absolutely insane. <laughs> all right, so now they're cutting it. I'm getting out the way if this thing's coming towards me. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Nice. The trunks are approximately like three to 4,000 pounds a piece. They took off two, three, about four different logs, 12, almost 12,000 pounds worth of tree taken up and moved. That's something to think about. <laughs> These trees are really heavy, really heavy. Okay, so with this shot right here, this is gonna be the end shot. It's gonna have the company moving out as a unit, which is one of the best ones in my opinion. When they're all moving out, it just shows the unified force of the entire company. They came, they conquered, and now they're out. So you're gonna just see me as I'm tracking with them as the trucks are coming out to make sure that I get the final shot of everything. When this everything is all said and done, they roll in together, they roll out together. So let's go. Nice. They did it just how I wanted it. And my friend, that is a wrap. All right, so we are all said and done. I know I'm kind of squeaky squeaky, but um, today it's actually a great, a great one. I really enjoyed this shoot. Um, it was for many purposes of, of things that we needed, but um, it was a really good shoot. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and drop a comment if you want more videos just like this or if you have any questions how I shot this entire commercial shoot. Check it out. Hey, my name is Colin. I'm the owner of SoutheastTree.com. Been in business 27 years. You can reach us through our website at www.southeasttree.com and through Google. We have five star reviews on there which you can check out. We look forward to working with you.